Double the Rider, Double the Fringe, Four Times the Hands, SH Figure Arts, and Super Magic Chogokin Common Rider Super One today on World of Stuff. Now, some of you are wondering, what exactly is the story behind Super One? Well, the series aired between 1980 and 1981 and featured the character Kazuya Oki. Apparently, he was going to be part of a new space program that took part in deep space and, with the help of the ISDP, was transformed into a cyborg so he could survive deep space without a bulky spacesuit. However, before he was set to leave, the enemies of the show, the Dogma Kingdom, attacked the ISDP and basically killed everybody except for Kazuya. Under the direction of martial arts master Genkai, he basically learns martial arts and the ability to properly transform into this, Super One. Later in the series, it then became the Jin Dogma, basically because he destroyed the original Dogma Empire, who, both of which originated from Dark Nebula B-26. Hey, at least it, they didn't say that was from NASA, because the Japanese branch of NASA, well, I imagine you can probably find the logical flaw in there. Clearly, the SIC version and the SH figure version are exceptionally different. Obviously, the SIC version goes for a much more stylized, uh, cybernetics look, while the figure art goes for a genuinely more show-accurate look. Either of which are perfectly acceptable, although this is a little bit more eye-catching since it doesn't look like it's bitten through re-entry. He is an astronaut, after all. And interestingly enough, the design of Super 1 itself was based off of a Hornet, if you can believe that. Now we move on to one of the more interesting and important changes between the lines, changing out the hands themselves. As you can see, this is just a simple peg here, so if you want the SIC version, you can, can switch the hands out rather easily. And since they're just on a little ball here, switching out the hand hand part of the equation is significantly easier. Whereas with the figure arts version, it's on a much more of a mushroom peg. So getting them out can be a little more challenging, but as a result, the connection is a lot more secure. I do have a problem with this one falling apart when I'm posing it. But as usual with the uh, figure art, you just, the ball joint is on here, but you also get interchangeable fringe pieces. Whereas with the SIC, you get chain fringe. Sorry, that excites me. Now, here before us, our guess would be the regular hands for Super 1 in both versions. Now, obviously, they come with the fists, which are on the figures right now. Both versions come with the two-fingered pointing hands and the splayed open hands. But here's where the SH figure version starts to really come into its own, because it also includes holding object hands, chopping hands, and I guess would be the splayed... The partially splayed open hands for his martial arts poses. And these are just the regular hands. We haven't gotten to the real bit of Super 1. The specialized Super Hands. And here we are with the Super Hands. And here's that dandy little sword for those holding things hands for the SH figure art. But let's see now. We have the Alec Hands. Both are in blue. But this, these are light blue and, well, look a lot more like a conduit type of thing. Very painful looking. These ones have a nice little gold electrical symbol on them, so, as well as a nice little rainbow color. You have the launching hands, or radar hands. It, these do have removable missiles. I wouldn't recommend you keeping them out of sight for a very long period of time. Come on. Oh, whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> here we have a much more Simplified, but very nice version of the radar hands in gold. These missiles do come out. I would really not recommend removing those. You have the heat and cold hands. This looks like a nice little refrigeration unit. This one, uh, industrial heating unit. The uh, hot and cold hands are just molded in green. And you kind of have to look at the hands themselves to see that the little blue parts make this the freezing hand and red parts the, uh, I guess, fire hand. But still, very nice. 
Then you have the, uh, I guess would be the super grip hands. These even have additional uh, elbow bits to make them look even more industrial looking and impressive. With these hands, you even have a couple hands for those hands. <laughs> so, if I throw these strike your fancy, you can't go wrong, really. Although you do want to keep an eye on the, the missiles. Definitely. That would be a good time to bring up the point of articulation. Ha ha ha. Well, anyway, SHP Arts is well known for its superior humanoid articulation. I'm happy to report that the SIC version retained it's a good portion of it. In fact, it's becoming more like figure arts than it used to be. But due to its own design, it is rather hindered. You can only get as... Well, you can get as far as that, but... It doesn't quite look right, does it? It doesn't quite go out far enough to really give it... Get a good rider kick pose out of it, at least from the side. Depending on the pose you get it on, you can get a rider kick-like pose. But it doesn't look quite as smooth as it does with the figure art version. Ah, another good point. The uh, shoulder guards tend to pop off on this figure. But that really shouldn't be a big surprise. With all this going around it, it's not that big a surprise at all, I should say. Yeah. <clears throat> but it does have a de decent amount of articulation. You can do many of the poses, but not nearly as much as you can with the figure art. Another interesting point is that Super 1, the figure art version, actually has a wrist swivel right here, which gives him an additional point of articulation that many other figure arts don't have. So, if you're really looking for some articulation, and just have to have the absolute utmost. There you go. Another very important point that I really should bring up is availability. Now, when I initially planned for this review, the uh, SRC Super 1 was readily available. That's not so much the case now. As opposed to the Figure version, which is readily available now. You can still probably find Super 1 on secondary markets. Uh, places like Mandarake might have a full stock of them. Maybe even CS Toys. But you might be might be paying more or less depending on who you get it from. <clears throat> Amazing enough, when I bought the both the when I bought this new, it was roughly the same price as this figure. But considering how much more you get with this figure as opposed to this, well, obviously you can see the difference as to why that is. But still, if you can find it either one for a decent price, you can't go wrong. One final point I would like to bring up. The SIC version was more or less created to gauge interest as to whether or not there would even be a figure art version. Due to the fact that this is sold out, well, in the majority of places, obviously it get, there was enough interest and viability to produce the figure art version. So, while you may not be able to get your hands on this readily, and this is far more readily available, without this figure, there would be no this figure. Consider that. Please. Now, an interesting point about the series itself. About halfway through, this wasn't doing so well in the ratings, so they changed writers. So depending on your personal tastes, the beginning half of the series and the latter half of the series, you may get completely different points of view on it. You might hate that second half and love the first half, or hate the first half and love the second half. Really very strange. Well, hopefully I've at least piqued your interest in Kamen Rider Super 1. Obviously, the Showa era writers are not everyone's cup of tea. Then again, neither is Kamen Rider or Figure Arts in general. But, if you're just getting your start at Figure Arts, this figure may not necessarily be for you, but it is kind of a niche figure. But it's worked for me. If, however, you are a fan of the Showa era, you will definitely appreciate the multitude of hands and can get a kick out of the slightly added articulation. I would definitely recommend Figure Art Super 1. If, however, you're looking for a nice display piece, something you can put in like one or two positions with the help of, say, a Tamashi stage stand, you get even more. 
anyway if you like the aesthetics the increased size and don't mind a little bit of limitations uh, if you can find it go ahead and find the SSE version well I'd say that wraps this up pretty nicely I'm the Decept Wolf. This has been SIC Super 1. This has been SH Figure Arts Super 1. And I wish you all a good night.